Hey everybody, we are back. We are live. This is Book Talk, Kingdom Book Talk, the last one for this Wednesday. I need everybody to come on back into this room. We believe that it has been fixed thanks to our wonderful, wonderful Ariel Fuller. Without Brandon her, marketing where tech. would we be? I see why I have. I promise you. I see why I have. We was talking blurry. We was out here bad, y'all. Ariel was like, no, not going to happen. Because honestly, it's the words that are coming out of your mouth that's going mm -hmm. to really minister. But I do want them to see you clear. I do. I want them to see you. Clear. I want them to see you. <laughs> yeah. Because in all honesty, mm -hmm. you all, this book yeah. has been very, very powerful. We're going to get back up to 60 people. We're going to get back up to 100 people. If you are coming in, you all, I need you to tag your sister. Keep tag, I keep need tag, you to tag tell your come sister. On, come on. I need you to drop it one more time. This mm -hmm. is a new thread. Where mm -hmm. are you from? If you're in the Dunamis Woman University, sisters, I need you to drop and represent mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. chapter as well. Come on and get up. Let's get us back to where we were and hire. We want about two, three hundred women on here, you all, because this is going to be the mm -hmm. last mm -hmm. book talk, mm -hmm. kingdom book talk for conquering battlegrounds within the own, within right your now. own yes. mind. Yes. And the yes. only reason I want everybody to make sure that they're here is because we are going to really dig deep into the opponents mm. that are conquering your mind. You're finna work me tonight, aren't you? I'm finna work you. <laughs> finna. Finna. Fin to, fix and to, whatever you have, you, you finna get worked. <laughs> Because I think, I'm, I'm an advocate of the people. You all, if you want Pastor D to really go deep, yes, I yes. need you all to say, yes. I'm ready. Yes, yes. I'm ready. Yes, if you yes. want Pastor D to go deep, yes. she not she, she foo, foo anyway. But if you want her to really go deep into this book talk, yes. I need yes. you to say, I'm ready. Yes. Keep yes. representing. Sophia's mm -hmm. in the house. Mm -hmm. Keep representing where you're from. If you're part of the Dunamis Coaching Institute, represent that as well. Yes, yes. Come on through. Mm -hmm. um, sisters. You ready? I'm I, ready. I'm ready. I'm you just ready? everybody come on in there and let you do you. We're gonna, I'm ready. We, when we get to 52, I'm going to start. Come on, Tanisha Walker. Come on, Tanisha says I'm ready. Let Quilla thank you again. <laughs> Quilla knows what happened. If you already have the book and you read it, mm -hmm. I need a couple of flames lighted up. Let us know that you've read the book yeah, and it has yeah, ministered yeah, to you. Yeah, come yeah, on, April. Yeah, yes, yeah. tag Demita Hill. To, Demita needs to get up in here. Lakeisha's back. Serenity Faith is back. Come on, you all. Jolene, yeah, Jolene. These are women who have been with us for the last three Wednesdays. Sophia mm -hmm. has been here. LaShawn has been here. Actually, they've been with us since Come the challenge. On, they've been with us since the last yes. three months. Yes. Yeah. Come on, Keep Kiva. it with the flames. Yes. Come on with the flames. It's hot up in here. You a mess. <laughs> That's why you're going to get work. Conquering Battlegrounds of the Mind. You all. Yes, yes, yes. Pastor D, in all seriousness, mm -hmm. we're going to get started, you all, mm -hmm. because uh, you wrote this book. And I want every week, I do want you to kind of give an idea because mm -hmm. there are some new women in here. Yeah, yeah. And I really want you to tell us the state of God's people. Why mm -hmm. is it that he put this book in your belly and mm -hmm. you, because you've been teaching this for over 25 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Honestly, you all, I was in Pastor D's ministry back in Chicago and I remember her teaching this. And this was one of my favorite teachings because it opened up my mind mm -hmm. to truth. I'm an overthinker. Mm -hmm. I'm an overanalyzer. I was uh, abandoned in, in a lot of respects. I have a lot of rejection issues. So my mind goes and races. And I barely sleep. Mm -hmm. I barely rest. I'm just mm -hmm. being real That's with you. That's the truth. Now she's and, speaking the truth, y'all. And this is real. Mm -hmm. And when yeah. she taught this before, mm -hmm. um, I, I got a little bit of it. But 10 years later, reading this book, it was like I was reading for the first time because yeah. where I was then, I, I've mm -hmm. grown, mm -hmm. I've healed some, mm -hmm. and this took on a new meaning for yeah. me. Yeah. So yeah. there are women out here, you all, thank you for lighting it up, Nita. Mm -hmm. There are some women out here who do not know anything about the mind, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. except mm -hmm. for they know they have one. And many of them don't even know what to do with and that. And some of us yeah. don't know, yeah. we don't, we, yeah. you know, yeah. we've lost some of our minds. Yes. I'm just yeah. being real yeah. that's with the truth. That's and that's pain, victimization, that's a mm -hmm. lot of things mm -hmm. going on. I'm mm -hmm. just being honest. I'm not mm -hmm. being funny. Mm -hmm. But why did you write this book? What's going on with God's people that he said, Pastor D, I need you to write this. I need this in the earth. Well, first of all, we're hurting. Mm -hmm. We as okay. a people, period, man, woman, male, female, it don't make a difference. We are hurting. And a lot of the hurts has just not come from what somebody has done to us. Uh, a lot of our hurts is because we don't know who we are. Yeah. And we are perplexed. 
And when you are perplexed and you don't really know who you are, and I'm talking about who God made you and created you to be, his mind, his origin, his thoughts for your life, you are in a state of perplexity. And then when you're perplexed, you get confused. And then unfortunately, we don't sit down, and I say we, we as leaders, rather mm -hmm. you are a pastor, apostle, Sunday school teacher, I don't care what it is your title is, we don't really take time to help people understand who they are. Right. And a lot of times it's because we don't understand who we are as leaders. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We get fixated on the title and we lose sense of our own identity. Yes. So here at Dunamis Woman, we thrive on your identity and truth and understanding and who you are. That's and that's good. why it was written. And it's time for the revelation. It's time for the, it's revelation. Time for the revelation. And yes. also a lot of us, mm -hmm. we did not grow up in the era that you grew up in. And so a lot of us don't know about the Holy Ghost. A lot of us don't know about mm -hmm. demons. A lot of mm -hmm. us don't know about spirits. A lot mm -hmm. of us don't know. And then even in the era that you grew up with, a lot of them didn't know about the phrenio and the aspects of the mind. Now, mm -hmm. your book was written from not only a, a spiritual perspective, yeah. but a clinical as well as historical perspective. Correct. So Correct. sisters who are chiming in, if mm -hmm. you do not have the book, we're going to tell you how to get it. But I, it's it's a it's a must. Yeah, it is. It's, it's it definitely is. It a is. must it because the enemy is coming. Mm -hmm. You know, for women, I'm, I'm speaking to women, but he comes after all of our minds. However, we as women are emotional creatures. We perceive things from an emotional standpoint, how we feel, and so when those emotions get hit, it alters our thinking. So oftentimes we think we're making decisions out of our mind, but we're making them out of our emotions. You know mm -hmm, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And those damaged places. This is why healing is our breath. Healing is the crust of who we are. Healing, healing. And so when we get into relationships out of those damaged emotions. We make decisions. Our motives uh, have become altered and, and based mm -hmm. upon what we can get as opposed to what we can give. You know, so that's why it's written. And this is what we need now in the body of Christ. If you all believe that we need this in the body of Christ, just say we need it. We need yes, it. We I, I believe we need it. We need it. We, we need it. We need it. We need it. We need it. Everybody chime on in and say mm -hmm. we need it. We need it. You know what? I'm going to flip flop. Okay. You know, God is not a God of uh, uh, just allow the spirit to lead you. So we don't have to go chapter four, chapter five. Yeah. I want to go to chapter five. Okay. I want to talk about for nail. Okay. Y'all, this she done took my notes and used them <laughs> as a fan. I just want y'all to see what happens in the back end. <laughs> I want y'all to see what happens behind the scene. How's she going to take my notes and make Woo, them so fan? So now, I really got to rely on the Holy Ghost because yeah, it's a fan now. Rely on the Holy wow, Ghost. Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. For nail, you all sisters, if you have your book, chapter yes, 5. Yes, yes. Chapter 5, yes, page yes. 115. There you go. And I really want you to, I don't want it back now. She done <laughs> used my thing as a fan. For nail, it okay. says, don't mess with my mind. Don't mess with my mind. Don't mess with my mm -hmm. mind. And for nail is one of the... Um, the aspects of the mind that is very dear to me. Mm -hmm. And I want to read the definition. Okay. And you, sisters, I'm telling you, I've come naked and not mm -hmm. ashamed. A lot of mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. don't act like you know when you don't. Correct. So I'm going to read the Correct. definitions. And if you need your pen and paper, because what she's going to tell us about mm -hmm. this definition is fresh revelation. Mm -hmm. You ready? For Nao, it's to exercise the mind, mm -hmm. entertain or have a sentiment or opinion mm -hmm. by implication mm -hmm. to be mentally disposed more or less earnestly in a certain direction, mm -hmm. intensively to interest oneself with concern or obedience, to set affection mm -hmm. on, mm -hmm. careful, mm -hmm. be like, mm -hmm. be of one, mm -hmm. be the mm -hmm. same, minded, mm -hmm. regard, savior, or think. Or okay. Severe. Savor, whatever. <laughs> I tell you, baby, I, I talk kindergarten to first grade, don't think. <laughs> I'm past that. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Break it down in layman's term. What part of your mind is the freneo? Your freneo is the place in your mind where you really exercise obedience. That's the place when, <clears throat> even when uh, Apostle Paul says that. Um, Pull down your weapons of your warfare, the mm -hmm. pulling down the strongholds. The weapons of your warfare are not carnal, but it's through the pulling down of stronghold and you exercise obedience and you punish disobedience through obedience. Mm -hmm. So the exercising of obedience is the place in my mind that I have to yield to God in my froneo and I got to give myself to him in the places in my mind that it really, really, it, it, it hurts, but I'm hurting because I'm being crucified with Christ. Mm -hmm. And so that is the place where it's really like your subconscious. 
And so that's the place that the enemy comes to victimize you. That's the place where he comes to bring your hurt and your damages that it will cause you to not be willing to exercise obedience in that area. And then in other areas of your mind, you become grandiose, a little bit high minded uh, because you're thinking more mm -hmm. than yourself than what you are. So with the freneo, mm -hmm. this is where your obedience is. Mm -hmm. But in there, you have a, I want to say you have two sides. You got your obedience and then you have the side of victimization. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what the enemy is doing, <clears throat> this is your mind. He is playing on every every place where you've been victimized Correct. to get Correct. you out of disobedience. Correct. Correct. So on page 118, mm -hmm. you talk about, and I'm going to go there, sisters. If you have your book, you can go there with me. But you talk about uh, the freneo. And how you can give your freneo back to God. You were talking about your grandmother. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And how she had, you know, the beautiful story about uh, yeah. Pastor D's grandmother is in here. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to ask you, how do you give your freneo back to God when it has been impacted by painful thoughts mm -hmm. and experiences? <clears throat> this, uh, let me, let me just, uh, my grandmother, oh my God. She was a woman who loved God. Mm -hmm. No and ifs or buts about it. And so I saw her literally yield herself to God. I saw her where she could have went off. She could have said some things, particularly to my own mother. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? My mother was no joke. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? But I saw her literally yield herself and humble herself in areas where she could have magnified herself. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And so even with that, what I saw at church is what I saw at home. And I learned how to model that. You know what I'm saying? And so even coming up with, with, with her and her, the other mothers of the church, which was her, her sisters mm -hmm. in Christ or whatever, uh, back then and then when they told us to do something, we just was obedient. Right. You know, we didn't have a, 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 a rebuttal. We didn't analyze. We didn't like, Ooh, God, why well, I got to do this? When the mother spoke, we obey. Mm -hmm. That's for now. We yielded ourselves unto what we knew as submission. You okay. know what I'm saying? So when they said go to the altar, we went to the altar. When they said stay there for five hours, you stayed there for five hours. When they said tear until you get filled with the Holy Ghost, you tear until you get filled with the Holy Ghost. It wasn't all this. Well, why I got to do that? Uh, if you cannot yield obedience unto your leaders or to those who are over you, you're not going to be able to yield it unto God. What was it about them? What was it about mm -hmm. you? What was it about those who have the ability to yield and not just yield, but yield in obedience and, and, and joy? You know, you're not doing it begrudgingly. What is it about you all? Because we all have opponents. <laughs> How did you all not yield to your opponents? The, 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 the forces? Because, because we were under submission. We had covering our, the mothers of the church at that time Put your put your shirt uh, put your skirt down. It's too it's it's, it's too uh, it's too short. You know what I'm saying? You didn't you didn't have all that. They 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 cultivated us. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? And so that's all I know is 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 the cultivation and the submission. So now my obedience to God operates like I obeyed my mother, my grandmother, the mothers of the church. We didn't talk back. We didn't have we didn't have counsel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We didn't go through all of that. We we trust, and then at the end of the day, for me, as well as uh, the uh, the the other daughters in the church at that time that I knew of, we were hurting. I, I mean, I was a 15 year old, 16 year old when I clung to my grandmother. I was hurting, mm -hmm. and so hurt make you yield when you are all good and everything lovely, and you wonder and you think you all this and all that. You don't yield. You two, you two in yourself. You know, this is why I promise you, when God brings you to a place of healing, you have been gracefully broken. Okay. Gracefully broken. People who don't, this is why Ariel always stated, states, and it's the truth, healing is for the humble. Mm -hmm. Because you are hurting. If you don't believe, you are everybody hurting. But a lot of people don't want to believe they're hurting, particularly in this aspect of their mind, because at the end of the day, the enemy wants to magnify us. That noose is magnified to make you think that you ain't hurting and you take not taking advantage of the purpose of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ dying on that cross. He died because I'm in pain. Mm -hmm. And so when we're in pain, where we run to? We run to the church. But now the church doesn't really exemplify the mothers like I'm accustomed to because everybody want to be their own thing. Everybody want to be their own thing. Sisters, I need you all to really, really, really mm -hmm. 
Because this is conquering battlegrounds within your mm -hmm. mind. And one of the things that you have to do in order to conquer that you put throughout this book mm -hmm. is uh, you have to be honest. You got to be, be honest. Be honest with yourself. You got to be honest. So I really want you to... Um, I want you to I want you to really admit mm -hmm. some things. If you need healing, I want you to put in there, I need healing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have to be humble. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, if you're still dealing mm -hmm. with pride, like I deal with pride, mm -hmm. I'm not even gonna lie. So dealing with my Freneo is something special. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I have to, you know, I still deal with pride mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because I'm insecure. Yeah. And I have a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. But I know I need healing and I pursue it at all yeah. costs. Yeah. So yeah. if you sisters mm -hmm. um, still need healing, I need you to admit And it. we all do. Yeah. I need healing. Mm -hmm. The the more the 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 higher you go in God, the deeper he goes in you. Mm -hmm. All, a lot of us want to be promoted in God. I want to be exalted. I want to be elevated. I want to be blessed. I want to be all this. But then that's wonderful. Be that. But however, he go deeper and deeper within your soul. It's a lifestyle. It's a process. When you thought you have gotten with this issue, he brings out another one. Because he keeps you humble. Why? That the freneo is the place in your mind that he died for. Mm -hmm. That's the place where he died. That is, I don't want to get ahead of whatever you may have. But I love this because this is the place that he died. I want you to speak on it. Oh, you don't have to worry about mm -hmm. me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a G. I'm going <laughs> to roll with you. Because that was one of my questions. Yeah, the freneo yeah. was, is, is shaped like the skull. The freneo is the part of your mind mm -hmm. that is shaped like the skull. Okay? And so I always teach about uh, that place. So what we deal with now more in our era of time is psychology. Mm -hmm. Everybody want to be an expert of the mind. Logical studying of the mind. Logical. That means you're going by man's rules, Freudian theories, all kind of theories. Everybody got a theory now. You know what I'm saying? However, to get to the place of the skull, you have to really understand that phrenologists, back in the 1800s, they examined the skull. And they examined the skull to really assess where your the damages were in order to assess how your self-esteem was. Mm -hmm. And so this is why phreneo stems from phrenology because that is the place of the skull that the enemy sees where your damages are and that's the place that he comes afterwards. But that's the very place that God died, that you may be healed. Does that make sense? It does. It does. All right. That particular place, I want to go to page 123. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You were made to destroy the works of the devil without mm -hmm. the devil's works destroying you. Correct. And, it, and do we destroy the works of the devil through the freneo, you destroy them by yield. Yes, by yielding that aspect of your mind unto God, your will to God, because your mind plus your emotions equal your will. So if my emotions been hit, so I, let me just use for an example: mm -hmm. the very man that hurt you is the very man you need to be praying for. And I'm not talking about. Hold on, I had a twitch. <laughs> I'm twitching for you. So, and I'm not. I'm not saying, oh Lord, bless him. Oh Lord, keep him. And, uh, Many women don't even want to say that. They be like praying for him. I can't even comprehend that. They, they want that that man dead or hurting or mm -hmm. whatever. Okay, eye for an eye, baby. Right. That's so, the first so the think hurt of. came, mm -hmm. so you can yield yourself mm -hmm. in places that you never thought that you would yield yourself to God. But that's where the power of His crucifixion. That's mm -hmm. where the power of His death. That's where the power in His burial. That's where the power in is His resurrection. Doing the things that you don't want to do based upon the way that you were hurt. This is why Jesus said in Luke 6, pray for those who despitefully use you. In my logic mind, I can't comprehend that. But I'm yielding and my exercising myself unto the Lord. I had a coaching session today. Well, a lady got an hour of power. And she was telling me about her dynamics. And I asked her the question right there. I said, let me tell you something. Where you are you're going to have to love Christ like a pig wants some slop. Mm. You're going to have to slop it up. I said, this is what God has put on you to do based upon the situation, based upon the dynamics, based upon the circumstances. First of all, it's a kingdom assignment. If you look at man with one eye closed, you ain't going to do it. And you got to love Christ with every fiber of your being because the man is the beneficiary of your love for God. Okay. And that's endurance. And when now the freneo wants, because of the pain and the victimization, it weakens us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It weakens us. 
I can't deal with that because your emotions have been weakened. And if your emotions are weakened, your mind is weakened. And so many of us just don't yield ourselves to God because we want to go back into the intellect, go back in the noose, go back in the dianoia, and we don't want to deal with anything and we keep feeding ourselves. One of the sisters asked, what mm -hmm. do you mean when you say yield? Yield means God don't have to take it. I give it to him. Oh, come on with it. Give me an No example. question, no rebuttal. I, I, it's just like, it's just like the song say, I give myself away. Mm -hmm. it, it, go, it's, it goes back to, um, just yes, Lord. We, we say the, we say the things that we don't really know what they mean. For instance, um, Tasha Cobb's got this, the, the song and I love it for your glory. I would do anything. Do you really know what you're saying? Mm. For your glory, I will pray for the men that hurt me. For your glory, I will love my enemies. For your glory, I will give up my house and my car. For your glory, I will go without that somebody else may live. For your glory, I will sleep on the floor and let somebody else sleep in my bed. For your glory. For your glory. For your glory. Mm -hmm. For your glory, I will suffer for Christ's sake. I might not get what I want, when I want it, how I want it, and I'm yielding myself to you. And not only just yielding it, but I'm going to do it. Is yielding the same as obedience? One of the other sisters just asked. Is it yielding, a, it, it works together with obedience. Mm -hmm. It's not the same, but it works together because I'm obeying what he says even when I don't understand it. I'm obeying, obeying what he says when I don't even feel like it. I'm obeying what he says. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Many women don't even want to yield themselves to their own husband. He wants some sex. You say, no, I don't feel like it. I don't understand. Well, I got a headache. <laughs> I've worked all day. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's not even the baby the needs things. to eat. It's the practical things. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? You. I got you. We, I got we, you. Oftentimes in the body of Christ, mm -hmm. we're looking for the big things. You know what I'm saying? But do you know his glory is in the little bitty things? Mm -hmm. You know? Oh, he didn't do me right. So, no, I ain't giving to him. He, he, he didn't speak to me the right way. I ain't got nothing to say to him. That ain't no glory. Yeah. The yielding is in the little bittiest things that you think that you're going to get the greatest power. The greatest glory, and he gonna get the greatest benefit. It's the little things that win the soul. You, yes. you teach us that all the mm -hmm. time in the mm -hmm. Dunamis Coaching Institute mm -hmm. and the university. Yeah, it's those little things, mm -hmm. you all. We go mm -hmm. deeper in those places. Mm -hmm. I, I'm gonna, I want to touch. I want to switch because we are getting a lot of meat, but there are some things, mm -hmm. and it, sometimes it looks like it's easier said than done. So I want to go deep into our opponents, as I mentioned before. Okay, but I want to talk about something. Sisters, this blew my mind. If you have your book, just so you know, this is Conquering Battlegrounds Within Your Own Mind. Mm -hmm. This is Wednesday. It's the mm -hmm. Kingdom Book mm -hmm. Talk. Mm -hmm. If you have your book, go mm -hmm. get it. If you mm -hmm. don't, we're going to tell you how to get it. Mm -hmm. But sisters, this is yeah. a powerful book written by Pastor mm -hmm. D for mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. uh, us who are in Mighty Christian Women. Honestly, this book is so powerful that we have some amazing testimonies mm -hmm. about it. And how it's been transforming. Mm -hmm. It's not a read that you go one, two, three, four, five. You may be, it's just like the Bible, in all honesty, yeah, yeah. in all humility. Yeah, yeah. You go chapter four, you mm -hmm. may be on chapter five and you may not finish. Mm -hmm. But I do want to go to page 125. Mm -hmm. 125, it talks about the impossibilities. Yeah. When you talk about the impossibilities, sisters, because if you have ever been, have a blockage, if you have ever been stagnant or stuck, mm -hmm. or if you are experiencing it now, mm -hmm. I want you, this is about honesty. Mm -hmm. Say, you know what? I feel stuck. Mm -hmm. I have been stagnant. Mm -hmm. I, there's a blockage yeah, there. Yeah. Whatever your wording yeah. is, yes, I yes. want you to be honest because we're going to talk about mm -hmm. the phreneo and mm -hmm. we're going to talk mm -hmm. about the impossibility. Mm -hmm. So page 125, you say within your mind, it's how powerful we are, yeah, sisters. Yeah. Within your mind, I need you to touch your Within your, your mind, mind. Within, your mind. within your mind, within your, your mind, your phreneo mm -hmm. lies your impossibilities that only are possible mm -hmm. with Christ. Yeah, yeah. I need you to explain that to us. Because, okay, if you just, if everybody just touched the back of your head, just if you touch the back of your head, just say, I touched it, I touched it, I touched Come it. Come on now. Get the back of the head. You know what I'm saying? She hit me. You know how sometimes when, 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 when God is calling you to a higher realm in him, it can make your head hurt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's real. It can make your head hurt mm -hmm. because he ain't calling for what you know. He's calling you for what you don't know. He wants to bring, that's where dunamis lies. It's in the impossibilities. If I can do it within myself, I don't need him. Mm -hmm. If I can perform a miracle within myself, I don't need him. 
That's like saying I can have a baby without a man. Impossible. It was Mary who got a miracle. Mm -hmm. You ain't. You gotta have. You got to have sexual intercourse in order to have a baby. So you ain't gonna sit up here and say I could do this by myself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So or you go get some fertility, or however that is. But my point is, is that that's where the possibilities are. But it takes your interaction. It takes your yielding. It takes you to say, I, I give it all over to you. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? The miracles lies within the places where you have been hurt and damaged. One of the things that you are teaching us in the, in the mm -hmm. university and also mm -hmm. in the Institute is mm -hmm. about our pain mm -hmm. and turning it into our power, it and, power. and it's our promise. Yeah. And it's that which, you know, mm -hmm. those things that we have been hurt in those places, those infirm places, mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. God will use us. And sisters, if mm -hmm. you're part of Dunamis Woman, know that you have a purpose. You know that you were sent here by God. This yeah. is not by happenstance. Mm -hmm. You may have scrolled through Facebook, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. God sent you here because mm -hmm. there's millions of women out here mm -hmm. who haven't made it yet. Yeah. But he has something for them, too. But if you are here, you have a purpose. I, I need you to proclaim that. Profess it. I have a purpose. You have a purpose. And one of the things that you speak of in this book, mm -hmm. and you touch on it in, in your strongholds mm -hmm. course, you touch mm -hmm. on it in a lot of things that you do, mm -hmm. you talk about how the enemy mm -hmm. uses certain things. Yeah. But sisters, I want you to really know that you're just so powerful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm not gassing you up. I'm being real. Yeah. yeah you are no, so seriously. powerful that yeah. there are chief rank yeah. demons assigned yeah. to your yeah. life. Yeah. 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 There yeah. are chief rank, not the little imps, mm -hmm. not the ones that mm -hmm. tick you off. Yeah. yeah. There are chief rank demons that, that are, are lying in wait. Yeah. And I, I'm not, this ain't no yeah. scary yeah. situation. Yeah. This yeah. is straight up real. It's real. It's if real. you have dealt with some things in your life that other people would have just shrunken up and died, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but you came through. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Know that mm -hmm. you are mm -hmm. assigned mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and there are some demons assigned to mm -hmm, you. Mm -hmm. And I really, and when you speak about the Fernelio, you speak about the skull, you speak about God yielding yeah. unto his father. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. speak about yeah. all of these yeah. things, but I really need you to talk about the, 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 the demons, the demonic forces <laughs> that want to keep us out of our trueness when it comes to our Fernelio. Okay, <clears throat> let me just bring it to you all in a story form. Okay. We look at the book of Genesis about the fall of man. And we read it like it's a storybook with characters that are not still real today. Mm -hmm. Okay, same, same principles, just a different name. So, it's a reason why Satan went to the woman. Now, I know we look at it as though, oh, you know, Satan went to the woman and all, uh, and we may, it's, no, it's purpose in that, you all. Think greater. You adopt the kingdom mind. God already knew that he had a plan. So if the enemy went to the woman first, which is the serpent in the form of, of Satan, don't you know that he was threatened by us? Mm. Mm -hmm. See, spirit of religion make you fear him. Kingdom says the enemy fears you. Come on. Does that, does that mm -hmm. make sense? I'm going to say that again. A spirit of religion and the way that the Bible was lorded over us, particularly as women, makes us believe that we are fearing the devil. Woo, the devil. When you hear the devil, you get afraid. Woo, he ain't nothing. He is threatened by who you are and who God made you to be. When God put man to sleep and he formed out of him a, that rib and he made woman and man identified with woman, Satan was like, damn, damn, damn. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because now she was manifested in the earth. When he presented himself to her, she was in spirit form. Mm -hmm. She was in spirit. You see what I'm saying? So now she's now manifested to execute on behalf of what the kingdom needs to build up, to lift up, to help, to guard, to shield. Do you know he coming after your mind? Yeah. And he comes after your mind through your emotions. Because you carry the substance. You carry the strength. You carry those things not to lord over man, not to control man, not to, to yield to God because of who you are and not because of what you got to do. 
If I'm forced to do something, I'm not yielding. I'm just surrendering because I'm forced to do it, mm -hmm. but I really don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. If somebody came to me, God forbid, and put a gun to my head and said, give me your purse, I'm forced to do it. But do you think I really want to do it? No. He got me in a bind. But if I just give my money and say, here, take my money. You see what I'm saying? You don't need no weapon. You don't need no force. You don't need no nothing. I see a need. I see a purpose. I see this. I give it to you. Mm -hmm. That's yielding. Does that make sense? It does. Make does that make sense, it you all? If it makes sense, say it makes sense. So now we're at a place and a time that the original plan that God had ain't went nowhere. I don't know where y'all think it went. It ain't going nowhere. God is not going to change his mind. He says, I watch over my word to perform it. He don't, put, he don't watch over your circumstance. He don't watch over your situation. You watching over that. He watch over his word, but he will bring your circumstance to cause his word to manifest in your life. The only reason why you got a problem is because you already got the solution. I need you to speak that one more time. <laughs> the only mm -hmm. reason why you have a problem is because he already gave you the solution. Come on now. He would never give you nothing that there was no answer for. And your yielding. Your yielding gets you, gets you the solution. Come on now. Your yielding. See, a lot of us don't have a solution because we bucket up against it. We want to do what we want to do, how we want to do it, based upon what we feel. In Christ, there is nothing but a yes. The promises of God are yes and amen. Ain't nothing else you got to say. That's it. That's it. Ain't nothing else you got to say. But you got to get healed in order to be able to get to that place. And that's why healing goes deeper and it goes deeper and it goes deeper. Some of us have been women. We, a lot of women, and I can say this because I was one of them, but I know more women uh, who have been in some states and experienced some things that they're victimizing their, 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 their family. They're victimizing their husband. They're victimizing their children based upon who victimized them. Yeah. That means your fernail needs to be healed. You know the word of God. You know how to quote scriptures. That's out of your noose. That's out of your intellect. And it's making you believe you got it because you know John 3, 16. You know 1 Timothy 1 and 7. You know uh, of Ephesians 3, 20. And so you're magnifying yourself because you know how to quote it. But let God tell you to do something that you don't want to do. It's a done deal. That All scripture, of that, that is scripture going when I <laughs> All of that's going out the window. <clears throat> that's happened to me many a time. I don't want to hear that. You know, mm -hmm. you, you said something that was so profound when you talked about the enemy. Mm -hmm. And you have to know that we are the enemy's mm -hmm. opponent. We are. Um, the enemy is not our opponent. And you have to know that you know that you know that but you he know. he's going to hit you to get you to win. And he's going to hit you. He's going to hit and you. The part of that is uh, your gnosko, mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. nome. Mm -hmm. It's in chapter four, you all. Mm -hmm. If you have the book, if you're just tuning in, sisters, this is the Kingdom Book Talk. It is Conquering Battlegrounds Within Your Own Mind. It's a book written by Pastor D, mm -hmm. and it is beyond powerful, mm -hmm. so powerful that she said, let me just come and give you a live Q&A, a live book talk. And if you have any questions, sisters, I suggest yeah, that yeah. you put them on in yeah, there because right. I haven't been saying who asked the questions, but I've been asking you questions based on what I saw on the screen. So this is an open dialogue. Yeah. <laughs> and go ahead. You and, and, I, and I want us to understand, Michelle, um, that... The reason why we can't yield out of our fernail is because of pride. Mm -hmm. We just say the word pride, but you got to really understand that pride is a spirit that really comes to, it's not just a spirit of pride, but there's an opponent that operates with the serpent. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There is nothing of demonic forces that's going to roll alone. Okay. The only person that's rolling alone is independent women who think they all this and all that. You'll find them. I can do this myself. I don't need nobody. See, the enemy uses principles. We don't know principles. We just want to quote Jesus. But there's principles to power. Somebody put that up there. There's principles to power. And so where there's principles, there come principalities. Did you get that? Mm, yes. So the principalities want you not to know the principles and pride is one of those. This is why what's going to follow the book, Michelle, I have to do uh, a workshop in obedience because now it's time to dig deeper mm -hmm. that we may yield ourselves. You can read that book all day long. I thank you all who got it. I love you all who got it. I pray it blessed your life, but now you got to work it. Workshop. Y'all ever heard that? Yes. Workshop. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I, this is why I, I, I love, I could just go somewhere. I was telling the ladies in my understanding your warrior class, 
It would be so easy for my life if I just started a church, preached on Sunday, did Bible mm -hmm. class on Wednesday, took a collection, tied an offering, so I ain't never talked to nobody. Mm -hmm. But I ain't trying to get me no gasoline draws on and go to hell. Right. Because at the end of the day, people need the working. They need to work it, work it, work it, work it, work it. And the spirit of pride is the opponent to every dunamis woman because he wants to keep us elevated. And now you got to understand who is this spirit? What does it come to do? Mm -hmm. How does it come to, 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 to magnify me? Mm -hmm. Why can't I yield in areas that I don't want to yield in? That's the blockage. Yes. It yes, goes back yes, to yes. the blockage. It goes back to the back to the blockage. Yeah, yeah. And sisters, you know, just to pride, honestly, mm -hmm. has kept me at a standstill for many, many, many years. Uh, I used to have what's called false humility, and it's and that's that's pride. That's pride. False humility false is pride. False humility is pride. Where yeah. I, you know yeah. you just uh, it's almost like you're playing the victim. Yeah. Um. But and you and you're thinking like, woe is me. But you you know. I'll give you the shirt off my back, yeah, but yeah. you know, it's some, sometimes it can be. And you give the shirt off your back because you still want people to look to you. Thank you. It, it's, it's an indirect way of saying, look at me, look at me. Not saying that everyone mm -hmm. does that, but false humility. This is why even when you do some things, sometimes it's best that nobody don't know. Test yourself out that way. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. Sisters, if you've ever um, been that one that everybody comes to for mm -hmm. money, for advice mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then you say, you know what? Oh my gosh, I, I just can't take it anymore. And then, but deep inside, mm -hmm. you really want them to yeah, come back yeah, and back yeah, and back. Yeah, yeah. Um, God broke me from that. Yeah. God yeah, literally yeah, yeah, stripped yeah, me yeah. from finances. He stripped me from friends and it wasn't because he's an evil God. No, no. It was because of the power that's on the inside of me. But that's because he's going to elevate you in order to be, when he breaks you down, he's building you up in a greater way. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But he's not breaking you to hurt you. He's not mean or anything. He's gracefully breaking you because he want to gracefully build you up. And when he builds you up, see, a lot of us as women, we build ourselves up. A lot of us as women, we're self-made. We're self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. It's out of our damaged places. This is why we got to work it. This is why the enemy comes to attack a woman's mind. Yes. He attack everybody's mind. But at the end of the day, I'm woman. And he comes to attack me based upon who I am and not what I do, not what I have, not what my anointing is, is based upon who I am since the beginning of time. And Michelle, that's what the workshop is about. An enemy, the enemy, the spirit, the spirit that comes to attack a woman's mind. I don't even tell y'all what it is. I'm going to let you go and, and, and search for it. You know yes, what I'm saying? But it's, it's real. It, it, it's very real. I'm, because it's a certain demon that comes to attack a woman's mind. It might not attack that man. It's going to attack you. Because if it want to lessen you, weaken you, you don't, you don't use your substance. You don't use your strength. That's dunamis. Mm -hmm. Dunamis. 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 Let me say this. I, I'm saying it because it's, it's prompting my spirit before we go. When God created man and man was in a deep sleep, he, he, he put woman there. And I, I taught this in one of the class. Now, can you imagine, Michelle? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to say for yourself, but I want all y'all to put yourself in this situation. Mm -hmm. You came out of a certain man. You were made. You didn't come out of deep sleep, but it came from ejaculation. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. before that man was presented to you was presented to man. You had a certain amount of time with God. Yes, I did. Come on now. We all did. While he was still under anesthesia, when he was still not awakened, you know, if you go have surgery now, you ain't finished to come out of surgery and say, oh, I'm done. You go lie there because you got to come up out of it. Now, in the time when he was still asleep, what was God saying about you that the enemy was threatened by? This is why he comes to attack a woman's mind. And when Adam woke up, he looked at her and he said, this is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. In other words, he saw her substance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's coming after your substance that you can't be what you need to be as woman for your life, for your legacy. Everything about the kingdom is about people. It's about people. Sisters are trying to guess. So don't mm -hmm. don't start guessing. Don't start overthinking. Don't talk about <laughs> the not overthinking. Of the but I need you to listen to the words. That's one of the things mm -hmm. that happens to us. We and and you. Oh my gosh, we was mm -hmm. on a prayer call this morning. And mm -hmm. He was just so 
talking about just listen. Mm -hmm. Just listen mm -hmm. to God. Mm -hmm. Allow God to minister to you as these words are being ministered Allow to you. Allow the Father. Allow the Father. Yes. Father. Yes. While we're on this line, you mm -hmm. all, while we're live, yes, yes. the Father. Allow the Father to mm -hmm. minister to you. Mm -hmm. There are principles. Yes. There yes. is power on the inside of you. Yeah. Your mind yeah. is so precious yeah. and so valuable yeah. that, the, that you mm -hmm. are a conqueror. The enemy mm -hmm. shakes when your feet hit the ground. I need you to know that yeah, and yeah. know that with confidence. And that's why you have to understand who your opponent is and how you get magnified in mm -hmm. pride. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. It's, a, it's, it's pride. He is the, he is, he operates from a prideful standpoint. Yes, he does. So you got to come and know what you're dealing with, not just because, oh, I'm dealing with pride. You know, that's like saying the devil. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I can know the devil. But do you know the devil has different demonic forces and names to which spirits are? You see what I'm saying? So when you deal with it specifically, I could just say, oh, I'm a woman. But when I know that I am the woman, I know that Davetta has an assignment on her life and don't put me in the category of no any other woman. Because what's for Bridget ain't for Devetta. What's for Devetta ain't for Sarah. What's for Sarah ain't for my Michelle. Mm -hmm. So don't clump us. Oh, I'm in a woman's ministry. That's why we ain't getting no results. This is not a woman's ministry. This is every woman to know her assignment, know her opponent, know who she is, know the spirit that wants to, that is threatened by you so you can yield yourself to God in a greater way. And you know what, Michelle, when I, when I have this workshop, it's coming up in the 1st of September. That's why you said we got some great things for them in mm -hmm. September. Mm -hmm. I want us as women, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw this in there. So remind me when I do the workshop. Help us understand. If you attend this workshop, and I want you to go to the bit.ly, bit.ly backslash workshop. When you go there and find out, I'm going to throw in in the, in the teaching of it. I want us to understand how to recognize the voice of the Father, the voice of your big brother Jesus, and the voice of the Holy Ghost. They are one with three different functions. And many of us don't even know because guess what? When the enemy comes to attack a woman's mind, guess what it does? It blocks your hearing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It blocks your hearing. It blocks your hearing. Hear. He said hear and obey. He didn't say do and obey. He said hear. Uh -huh. Hear and obey. But you got to know your hearing. And if, you're dam if your soul is damaged, many of us hear it ourselves. When you're rebuking the devil, you, that's really, you, you, you're rebuking God because you need to be listened. God said, pray, for, Holy Spirit said, pray for the man who hurt you. The devil, I rebuke you. The devil, you. I rebuke you. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Yes. That was the voice of That God. was the voice of the Lord, but out of our damaged places, we could not hear him. So there is no yielding. And if there is no yielding, you never tap into because that Because he wants power. to give you greater. He yes. wants to give you greater, but you got to come to a place of your hurting. This is why faith is. If you say, Ooh, I don't have this. Then you're not, you, it's not the fact that you don't have it. You're not yielding to get greater. Mm -hmm. What I don't have, I do so I can get greater to have. Say that one more time. What I don't have is the places that I do and I give so I can get greater so I can do and give like I want to. That's it right there. Sisters. That's a kingdom mind. That's a kingdom mindset. Mm -hmm. This has been a kingdom book talk. Yeah, this is yeah. conquering the battleground mm -hmm. in your own mind. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to drop some links in there afterwards. We're going to talk about the workshop. Okay. We're not going to talk about necessarily that opponent because I will, I'm going to be real transparent. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until I learned my opponent that those blockages start leaving. It wasn't until I learned my opponent that I was able to move and be who God said I was. Mm -hmm. I still have blockages when I ain't sit up in here perfect. Mm -hmm. However, I'm mm -hmm. not where I used to be mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. you, through your teachings, through the workshops that mm -hmm. I've attended, mm -hmm. you taught me my opponent. And you right. taught the chief opponent of a dunamis woman. Mm -hmm. You taught the chief opponent, even as us as a tribe of mm -hmm. women. Mm -hmm. You taught us our opponents. And in that, so you have to know. And let me ask you a question. Did you get outcomes? I got outcomes. Did you see your life change? I saw That's my life change. That's why it was called change of life ministry. And let me tell you You saw something. your life change. I saw the changes around mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. My daughter, mm -hmm. ex-husband, uh, people around me, my family. You know what I'm saying? But most of all, me. I went from mm -hmm. a shell of mm -hmm. a little girl. Mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. I, When I first met Pastor D, I may have been 39. But in all reality, and I need y'all to be real. I was eight. Mm -hmm, I was mm -hmm. a little girl. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was broken. With a degree. With 
I had in, three degrees, in, mind you. <laughs> that's false humility. That's pride. In, corp in corporate America, couldn't tell her nothing, but you were hurting. Hurting. You were hurting. Hurting. That little girl mm -hmm. was was just, yeah. oh, she was hurting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 39 as a woman. Hips, breasts, everything else, but I was eight. And I learned. First, yeah. I learned that healing process, which all of us yeah. have gone through. So we've yeah. been going yeah. through these yeah. challenges. Yeah. I've gotten that knowledge and that understanding, the nuggets yeah. that are in this yeah. book. Yeah. But when you start teaching me through your workshops and through your teachings about the opponent, mm -hmm. my opponent. And and, the, and and I didn't, but see, I got to clarify something. And this mm -hmm. is why when I, I mean, I do kingdom teachings over here, you all, and it's wonderful. Uh, you all can put your little flames up there and you can put your words up there. And I love it. But I love engagement mm -hmm. because what God has given me to do, I'm not talking about anybody else. I sat in church for years all my life and I listened, but I also had to ask God, why am I so broken? Why am I divorced? Why am I mad? Why am I angry? Why am I haughty? Why am I this? Because I knew I loved them. But at the end of the day, education is not what you tell somebody. Education is what you draw out of somebody. Mm -hmm. I understand that. I'm a psychology professor where I used to be. So I, so I, so you draw it out. Even in college, you sit there and listen and they lecture. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. No, you draw it out. When you all was learning, it was participatory. I was drawing stuff mm -hmm. out of you. The workshop is necessary because it's not for a whole lot of people. It's a very limited space. Why? Because I'm creating an online college setting. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To understand the spirit that comes to attack a woman's mind. So now we go deeper into this and now you begin to get deeper and deeper because we all got issues. We all got mm -hmm. damages. We all got jacked up. But it's that one demonic force that wants to keep you elevated. Yes. And that's what you got to understand. Not only the fact that it come, but a woman's mind based upon who I am. Yes. Okay. So that's why I wanted us to go to that bit.ly bit backslash DW workshops. Yes, it is. bit.ly yes, backslash DW workshops. So we got to wrap it up because my battery is low. <laughs> Not only did she use my thing as a fan, but now her battery low. Yes. But you so, know what? If you got some meat, say, you know what? I got yes. something from it. Say, yes. just... I got something from it. Put your takeaway. Just drop your takeaway. Yeah, drop your takeaway in your take there. Away. Michelle, can you go back and put the bit.ly in there? I will go back okay. and put the bit.ly right, in cool. there. Uh, if you have the book, I'm going to put the bit.ly in there. But most of all, you all, let's let's come to the workshop. If you've ever did, done anything with Pastor D, you know she comes personal. Yeah. yeah. You're going to be over a uh, video. She wants to see your face. She wants yeah. to talk to you and hear your heart. So sisters, uh, bit.ly backslash DW workshops. Mm -hmm. We are going to end in prayer. This is our last book talk uh, for this series, and I pray that you got something out of it. Drop your takeaways in there. Continue to drop where you're from. Continue to represent. And if you're share part of the this university. with some other woman. Please tag another sister. Mm -hmm. It ain't too late. They could watch it mm -hmm. on the replay. If you yeah. can't watch it on the replay, yeah. put replay. Yeah. We're going to end in prayer. Yeah. But uh, thank you. It. Go for it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Father God, in the name of yes, Jesus, Lord. first and foremost, we thank you. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this hour. Father, we thank you for this time. Father, we thank you for the set woman of this house, the leader of this yes. house, Father. We thank you, Father, because not only did you create her, Father, but you created her wonderfully, mm -hmm. fearfully. She's made, Father, in your likeness and your image and with your mind. I thank you, Father, that you put it on the inside of her belly, Father, to mm -hmm. teach us that yes, we Lord. also have your yes, mind, Lord. Father. In the name of Jesus, yes, I thank Lord. you for who she is in you, Father. And yes, I thank Lord. you that each and every one of us, Father, we have the same ability, Father. Wherever mm -hmm. it is that we think it's impossible, Father, mm -hmm. you've told us that it's possible in Christ, Father, in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So I pray that each and every woman gets something out of this, Father. Mm -hmm. Each and every woman, Father, has heard you today, Father, in yes, the name Lord. of Jesus. It may be our voices, Father, but it's your fresh yes, revelation, Father, that will fall on their ears, Father, and will permeate their heart, mm -hmm. Father, and will touch their soul, Father, in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So I thank you, and I honor you, Father, because of what you're doing in our lives. I thank you for what you're going to do, Father. Yes, I thank Lord. you for the healing journey that we're all yes, on, Father. Lord. I thank you for our obedience, Father, yes, in the name Lord. of Jesus. And I thank you, Father, that each and one of us, Father, we are not going to come subject to the mm -hmm. enemy's ways, yes, Father. Lord. We're going to find it in our heart, Father. We're going to persevere and we're going to move forward, mm -hmm. Father, in you, Father, in the name of Jesus based on who we are, based on who you said we are, Father, before we were formed in our mother's womb, Father. And I thank you and I glorify yes, you. Lord. I thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, Jesus for name. everything that you're doing yes, within Lord. this community, Father, yes, in the name of Jesus. Christian women. Continue to cover Pastor D, Ariel, Allison, Genesis, 
Continue oh, to cover your all of us with your blood, yes, Father. Lord. And it is in the mighty name of Jesus that we pray these things. Amen. 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 All right, y'all. Say amen. 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 Love amen. you all. Thank you. And I'll be seeing you all again. Thank Love you, you, Michelle. Hey, this is it. I'm right. going to miss y'all. Love you Where all. Where you going? Well, I, you know, I, I'm going to be on on Wednesdays. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, you all.